I need you. 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 I need you because my Unitarian Universalist community has provided me with such an escape from everything that's going on. I've spent many hours on Zoom with youth across the country just laughing and talking and pretending like everything's regular. I need you because you gave me the foundations for understanding and appreciating other faiths across the world. I need Unitarian Universalism to know that I'm not alone. I need to know others with whom I share principles and a worldview struggle the same way I do, to continue believing in the goodness of people, to continue believing that though the arc of the moral universe is long, it bends toward justice. I need to know that you're out there too in the struggle. Here in Thunder Bay, I'm a part of Lakehead Unitarian Fellowship. We are a small fellowship group. Together we create a community of supportive people who share common ideals. And, uh, in these strange times, it's nice to feel like we have that touch group. The people who have our back, the people who are thinking of us, and we're thinking about them. And that sense of community, even though we're not together in our beloved little building. Uh, imagine if this pandemic had happened 20 years ago. It would have had a very different impact on us. So we can build national community in new ways. And that's really exciting. That's like what the pandemic's really taught us is that the physical community is important, but we can still create community without being together. Some youth, or a lot of youth feel very disconnected from the greater community. And it's almost up to us in a lot of ways to bridge that gap. And I think that the greater community needs to really come together. So a lot of what youth are really worried about right now is climate justice and indigenous rights. Those are things we really need to be focusing on. There's some interesting things that are happening right now with youth. There's a couple things in the works, um, a separate entity from the CUC, but still like in affiliation with it. Yeah, I'm really excited about what we're doing. So yeah. The U I'll start off with are individual congregants in my church. There are some in particular that I need on a daily basis. They hang in with me and support me and nudge me along when that's, that's what's needed. As far as my congregation is concerned, they keep me busy, which is sometimes a good thing and uh, sometimes a bad thing, but feeling purposeful is, is a need. I was at the the GA in New Orleans with Julie Stoneberg, and we were both in the business meeting when the eighth principle resolution came forward. So we said, hmm, what might this look like in the Canadian context? We thought it was something that we need uh, in Canada. So that, that started a whole interesting journey that we are still on right now. That's all about need. And I, I think the need for this racial justice work has just been highlighted by the events of the summer. So I'm glad for this work now because I have, I have a you in terms of the study group and the broader you in terms of the members of the congregations that make up um, the CUC. My hope too is that we'll get over our challenges with um, proselytizing is probably too strong a word, but sharing the light. <laughs> There's, there's something unique about this faith tradition. And I think if we, if we allowed it to, it's just the kind of faith movement for a moment, like a historical moment like this. So I was a senior job when this started. And so I was really involved with the CUC and I got the monthly check-ins with them. And it kept me feeling really grounded when Everything else felt completely out of control. I had some people to go to to say, I'm panicking, I'm scared, I don't know what's happening, I don't know when I'm going to see my friends or my family. And I had people to talk to about that and who understood and who were also going through the same thing. And then Casey and her group of young adults and the three ministers have done a, a young adult check-in. And that's another way that I've stayed really grounded and connected with my faith. And I think it's been the one constant that I have been able to feel connected to 
and that I know will always be there. Whereas everything else right now is kind of up in the air. My belief in this community and support within this community is always there. I need you because we are of one body. As an old scripture has said, the creator of life has put together all the parts of the body. The body does not take sides. It knows if one part suffers, every part suffers. If one part is honored, every part shares in its joy. I need you because together we are one. Most of being human is about your relationships with other people and the communities that you have and are a part of. And we, we need to keep existing to continue to have that and to continue to have that light and that hope and joyfulness in our lives. And I know my Unitarian Universalist communities has provided me with so much of that. And I hate the idea of losing that. Yeah, definitely, I'm going to need that in my life. We need you. 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 We need you.